Good afternoon. My name is Gloria Washington Mines, and welcome to Gloria's Healthy Home and Body, where our mission is to enhance the lives of those we touch by helping people reach their goal and by adding more life to your years and years to your life. The purpose of this program is to enhance our lives, um, to bring us to a greater understanding of what we need to do to better our life, our health lifestyle. And um, by doing that, I want to bring on as many guests as possible to just talk to you about how we can do little things in our life to make a difference. And so today I have the honor of welcoming Todd Cheek. He is a personal trainer uh, and a weight loss coach. So he also too has written a book called no wonder I'm fat. So we're going to talk about that and the five laws of weight loss success. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into that. He also too talks about the five pillars of wellness, pay now or pay later. Should I invest in a coach? And so I just want to go back to the pay now, pay later, because if you have been following me, you know that I've been talking about that, that Either you invest in being healthy now, or you're going to pay for it later when you have to go to the doctors and correct the things that you could have corrected before it was disrupted. So we do have to pay attention to what we're putting in our bodies, um, and we have to sometimes add supplements to our bodies. I know I had to do that um, because I wasn't eating right. You know, I was in a business uh salon and spa business for 20 years and there is no set time to eat um nutrition kind of went out of the window for me <clears throat> excuse me and so i had to uh put supplements in my body to stay healthy and as a result i'm so happy i did that because today i can say that i am a healthy person in terms of no high blood pressure no sugar diabetes no high cholesterol and i thank god for that because I really kind of paid attention, even though I wasn't eating right, I still paid attention to what was going on with my body. And I tried to make up for it by taking supplements. And then when I ate right, or when I ate, I tried to eat properly. So today, without further ado, we're gonna dive in and talk to Todd Cheek about his personal trainer, uh, training weight loss coaching. So take it away, Todd. Well, thank you so much, Gloria, for having me on this this morning. Uh, I'm on the East Coast. So I'm thinking, I think you're on the East Coast also. Yes. Uh, in the uh, New York area. I'm in the North Carolina area. And so if you are watching from wherever you are in the world, uh, just welcome and uh, thank you once again for uh, having me on. Uh, I uh, definitely uh, uh, have been on this mission, I think, when it comes to helping people live a healthier life uh, and or through weight loss. Uh, uh, through the weight loss journey, it's been probably uh, my business started in 2004, and, and I was living in New York City at the time. And so, you know, you just see from your parents um, in our communities where weight lo weight is a definite issue that leads to so many uh, health issues. And so I decided to definitely take it upon myself to do what I can uh, to make an impact uh, when it comes to weight loss. And, um, and, and just, you know, hey, I want to leave this world knowing that I did something positive. And uh, so uh, the weight loss coaching and the personal training is a vehicle that's helping uh, people and definitely helping me understand more about myself also. So once again, that's a little bit about, you know, who I am and uh, my mission and my journey and my vision. And uh, so you were talking about the book yes. and I like to, I like to preface the book. Yeah. I like to preface the book. Um, it's called no wonder I'm fat. And I like to pre I'll, I'll set it up image wise for you. Uh, on the cover of the book, there's an overweight woman who is looking at this word collage and she's standing up in front of this, this word collage with all these different fad diets that are going on. You know, you have this diet, that diet, this method, that method, all these things are just being driven at us daily. And she's looking at this just in confusion. No wonder I'm fat because the weight loss uh, rhetoric out there is so confusing. We just don't know where to go with it. It's not as simple 
but it's not as hard or complex as we make it out to be. And so that's the reason that I wrote the book. Uh, no wonder I'm fat, stopping the weight loss confusion and how to get off the weight loss roller coaster. Because I wanted to try to do something to help people get off of the weight loss roller coaster by eliminating some of the confusion, if that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense because there is a lot of confusion. And that's why there's so many yo yo diets out there because people started and yeah. then they can't keep up with it because it's not, it's not, it's just, sometimes it doesn't tend to be simple. You know, they throw in all these other extra things to do and people just can't live up to it. You have to give people a lifestyle where they can include it in their everyday life to make sense, you know? Exactly, exactly. So like I said, that's the reason that I put the book together. And I, once again, just to try to, to, to get people off of this weight loss roller coaster. Like I said, it's not easy. Of course, say okay, so you just don't pop a pill. You just don't think that you're just going to do exercise for one week or mm -hmm. two weeks or at most a month, and you're going to see some, you know, these these spectacular results. You will see some results, but all of those results, I guarantee you, will come along with lifestyle change. You know, so we have to pay attention to lifestyle change, and so that's why, you know, in my book, there are ten laws to weight loss success, but for time's sake, I'm just going to go over, you know, five of them or so uh, uh, during this conversation here. Okay. Okay. So I know you talk about the, the five pillars of wellness. Is that what you're going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about the five laws to weight loss success. And then okay. the gotcha. Gotcha. Right. Okay. They're, they're, they're separate, but equal. And we'll okay. and I'll show you how. Okay. And uh, so we can just talk about the, uh, the, the, uh, the five laws to weight loss success. Uh, the first one is really about finding your reason why okay mm -hmm. and i'm pretty sure gloria you you've probably heard these types of conversations before yes. being in the uh, uh the space that you're in right now finding a reason why and this is this is important uh i used to work with a client uh, when i was living in new york <clears throat> and uh she was about 390 pounds at the time and i got a call from her one night and she had, uh, we had talked about her, her weight loss journey before. I got a call from her that one night and uh, I asked her, I said, okay, so why do you want to lose weight this time? What's the difference now between the other three times or so that we've, talk, we've spoken before to now? Why? What is your reason why? She said, Todd, I want to live. Her concern was that she wasn't going to see the age of 46. Wow. And she was about about 42 at the time and she was concerned that she was going to see the age of 46 and that is a compelling reason why and yeah. I could not ignore that I had to yeah. jump in and see what I can do now her why doesn't have to be you know your why right you have to come up with your your real compelling reason why now I don't mind you know if we all have our whys and they range so right. your why could be, hey, I want to get bathing suit ready for the beach. But my thing is, is that you want to make your why mean something to you. You want to have it mean something. Right. And when she started, she didn't stop. And mm. about the time that I had uh, uh, worked with her, about maybe a year and a half into it, she was down 100 pounds. You know, she was down 100 pounds and she showed up. They say that 80% of success is just showing up. She showed up that first day and the first day she couldn't walk a block. Okay, a New York City block without, you know, hovering over it, asking for air. Then we stretched it out to two blocks and then, you know, so on. And to the point where she could do a 100-yard dash, you know, uh, down a football field uh, jogging. Okay, Absolutely. dashing I'm, in my, in, at my point. But like I said, she had a strong reason why. And that's where it all began for her. That was her reason why. Right. And I think second, what she had to do, and you can stop me if you have any, I don't know if you- Yes, yeah, no, no, questions. I just keep, on. Yes. keep rolling. Yes, no <laughs> yeah. problem. Gotcha, gotcha. So, gotcha. So a, a second reason that she had to do something here, she had to lose her mind, okay? Mm -hmm. so what do I mean by that? What do you that? mean by that? You yeah. have to- yeah, you have to lose that conversation that you have with yourself, 
gotcha. that you've had gotcha. with yourself in your old self. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. You have to lose that conversation and begin to adopt a new mind. You have to start to think different. Yeah, okay? your mindset has to you be have different. to start thinking different. It has to change. It yeah. has to change. So, and that's what she had to do to the point where she is now helping other people in her situation that were, that's, that used to be, that's, that, you know, in her situation, you know, before she uh, took on the journey to helping them lose weight. So she's become a health coach. Okay. Because not only did she find her reason why, she also had a mindset change exactly. in that whole journey. Right, 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 right. So what was the third thing that... that uh, so that's the second one, yeah. The third thing is finding the right system, okay? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we look at it this way too. There's no cookie cutter approach to this thing. The right. body, the human body is so amazing. Yes, it so is. So amazing. And so you're not going to find, you're not going to find, you know, one thing that uh, uh, works for one is going to work for the masses. Right. It's just right. not going to work one that way. Fit all. Yes. So you have to find, yeah, yeah, you have to find some kind of customization to, yes. you know, A, what you, you know, what's going to be something that's going to really feel right for you, okay? Yes. Now, there are some basics, okay? There are some basics. Yes, you do have to get moving. Yes, you do have to eat right, okay? Yes, you do have to change your mindset. Those are some basic things. But beyond that, you, it, really begin, it really gets to be a little bit more customized to right. your, your, your makeup, your mindset. All those things have to really kind of like, you know, uh, uh, be in place and to actually, um, uh, I would say, like I said, the right system is what you really are looking for. And that, that comes down to who you are as an individual. So you definitely want the right system. So now let's cut to the five pillars because I want to really get into that five pillars okay. of wellness. What are gotcha. you talking about? Well, the five pillars of wellness, we're, we're going to go back to this because the five okay. pillars of wellness is really about your, your, your healthy mindset, like I said. That's okay. one thing that we want to do. Second, we want to make sure that we pay attention to our spiritual selves. Yes. Okay. That's we have huge. to make sure that we pay attention to our spiritual self. That's now, huge. now, mind you, you know, that's, that's huge for my myself and my wife and my family here. And so the third one, of course, is going to be your nutrition. Okay. Yes. That's going to be all a part of it. The fourth one is going to be, of course, exercise. But one that we don't really pay attention to a lot of times, Gloria, is our sleep. Okay. Uh -huh. And the quality of sleep that we, that we do, uh, 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 you know, should be, you know, experiencing each night. Right. I, I used to wear the badge of honor when I was in the music business years ago in New York City, you know, about how little sleep I got. So I was bragging about that. You know, right. and so, but it all starts with healthy mindset. And those are the five pillars of wellness. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. Now we can, we can break them down. Of course, if you, you know, uh, I don't know how much time we have, but we can, we can definitely. No, don't, the you know, you really, those, they made sense. The five, could you mention the five again? So people, if yeah, they're writing cool. it down, they can write it down. Right. Exactly. So healthy mindset. Healthy mindset. Okay. Is one. Okay spiritual healthy healthy spiritual you know component also so you want to okay. be healthy spiritually spiritually okay. mm -hmm. of course uh nutrition okay it's nutrition mm -hmm. uh there's exercise, exercise. and sleep sleep and those, are the, okay. those are the five pillars of well of wellness okay. rather, rather. Yeah. okay yeah. so 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 for everyone out there you know those are five things you need to check make sure that those five things are in balance because we have to be in balance. And when we're not in balance, we know it. You know, either our mindset is off, our spirituality is suffering, our, our um, exercise, what we do. And exercise, for a lot of people, is not necessarily going to the gym. You know, if you don't have it in your budget to go to the gym, like you said, you can walk a city block, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. or walk around a baseball field, or, you know, mm -hmm. just walk, just do some walking, and that will make a big difference. Yeah. So those are things that must be done and get enough sleep because that haps, that really works with you in terms of helping you to operate properly the next day and yeah. making you feel good as you go through your day. Now, you talked about 
um, pay now or pay later? Should I yeah, invest yeah. in a coach? Yeah. And so this goes back what you were goes back to what you were saying earlier about uh, how we put things off because we look at the investment part of it as being too expensive or something that we you know don't you know put as a priority. And that's my thing right now is that I've learned. I'll say, Gloria, uh, is that yes, you will. You're either going to pay now or you will pay later. Okay. Um, the going to the grocery store um, and not buying something because or healthy because you feel as though it's a little bit more expensive. I would say that is one you know area where you're either going to pay now or you're going to pay later, because I watch my parents. You know, uh, right now they're you know a lot of pharmaceutical companies are they know and understand this whole thing. So a lot of my my parents are really, you know, on a lot of drugs, you know, uh, pharmaceutical drugs right about yes. now and prescription. And so that's a problem. You pay now and pay later. Now, should you invest in a coach? I would say yes. I don't know if anyone in any area of success, uh, whether it's business, uh, sports, or what have you, that uh, doesn't have a coach. Serena Williams, she still has a coach, even though she's Boom, at the top of her game. Right. As much as we hate to, you know, love them or whatever, Tom Brady, someone that's, you know, in the mm -hmm. sports field, they have coaches, people that are in the, you know, that are successful in the business uh, uh, area of the world. They have coaches. Coaches right. are there to make sure that you show up. That's what I do. I make sure that you show up. Every time you show up in life, you know, I'm going to be there supporting you and pushing you and guiding you along the way. And so that's the reason why you do, I feel, really, really need to think about investing in a coach. I agree with you because that accountability is huge. You it's, know, it's, it's huge. When you don't have accountability, then it's like, <laughs> it's like, why do it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, you don't have a reason to continue because you're not making yourself accountable to somebody. Yeah. It's like going to your job. You're accountable to your boss. If mm -hmm. your boss wasn't there, you would do whatever you want, whenever you Whatever you, want. you wanted to do, yeah. You know, so you're right. It just makes sense to have a coach if you're starting a whole new lifestyle of weight loss or weight program where you know you need to make changes in your life. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. huge. That's huge. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now you say health takes time. Commit to living healthier and the body will follow. What do yeah. you mean by that? You have to be patient with your body. You have to be patient with your, your, your you know, uh, we have been in such a microwave type society for a good while and we still want what we want when we want it. And that's why you have all of these uh, uh, magic pill, you know, diet wonders out there take this and boom here you go it doesn't work that way like i said your body is your body god designed you perfectly and you are where you are to build from that okay right. so um my thing is it takes time be patient with it you may not see the scale move on an every day or every weekly every week basis but there are non scalable victories also Non-scalable victories are victories like, you know, a I can put another I I I went another notch, you know, in my belt or my clothes feel looser. Mm -hmm. Those are non-scalable victories. You might be losing fat, you might be gaining muscle, okay, and so it, the scale may not be the is not the uh, um, uh, sign of success all every day or every week. There are non-scalable okay. victories. So, but all in all, it just simply takes time. Be patient with yourself. That that is that's a very very important because yeah. you get on that scale and you want to see that that number really move in a significant way and when you don't mm -hmm. it can make you be and feel discouraged yeah, you know yeah. so I and, like and that you when, said yeah. that and that's when your why comes into play mm, you know you it. have to go back to your why you know got you go it. back to your why if you don't see the scale moving remember why you're doing this right. okay remember why you you're doing it and that's why it's so important to have that compelling reason why yes 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 yeah, yes yeah. because that why will keep you on track and even mm -hmm. when you feel like giving up you remember why you're doing what you're doing you know exactly. and it'll just put you exactly. back where you need to be at 
So if yeah, someone exactly. came to you uh, to be their coach, what would be some of the first things that you would start them off with? What's, what's your method of, of well, my getting method, them started? Well, my method is really taking a look at your lifestyle, okay? Because I want to know where you are, uh, what, your, what your thoughts are about food. You know, my wife works with me also in this area too. So we kind of like work it as a team. Nice. And so we will look at your food and what you're consuming. Uh, we also want to know about, you know, where you are stress wise. And that mm. comes back to the lifestyle. Yeah. Because stress plays a huge part in your overall uh, mindset and yeah. uh, how your body responds, you know, to different uh, uh, things such as as foods. Because when we do become stressed, um, of course, all the hormonal, you know, things in, within the body can become imbalanced. And when the right. imbalance, when you have such an imbalance going on hormonally, uh, that can lead to all types of uh, malabsorption of foods and things of that nature. So you want to, at, at best as you can, control the stress in your life. So we'll look at those, those components right there to begin with. Right. And then we'll look at, you know, okay, these are some exercises that we suggest based on what you're able to do. Like I said, it's very customized. Okay. And so what you're able to do, we kind of like customize things for an individual. Like I said, there's no cookie cutter approach to this thing. And yeah. then we'll just, you know, come up with a maintenance plan, you know, as we move along. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So yeah. does that include their, what foods that they're eating? Yeah. Um, so it, it, yeah, exactly. So we'll lay out a whole like meal plan based on, I would say, like I said, there are some basic things, Gloria, that people should be doing, uh, yeah. such as, you know, we should not be actually uh, uh, eating the amount of, of high sugary foods that we either consume, that we consume, like through drinking or, or uh, through eating. Um, a lot of people, you know, we do a demonstration where we uh, show how many t tablespoons of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, sugar are in a Mountain Dew soda and people are blown away, you know, and, but we drink sodas. And there are other sneaky things that, you know, sugar, you know, these companies slip sugar in. So we want to bring awareness to that. So our approach is going to be the glycemic approach where we're looking at um, lowering the blood sugar, you know, level within a, within a person's, you know, body. So we want to keep the right. blood sugars kind of like stabilized mm -hmm. and where they're not all over the place. And so we want to eat foods according to the glycemic index. Mm -hmm. And so we provide a meal plans for that. Okay, great, 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 great. Yeah. And so um, then you also to have them to do some sort of workout or exercise throughout yeah. the day. Yeah. yeah, so what happens with that is that we provide, if, if it's a one-on-one -on -one face to face, you know, you know, you can be a part of the program face to face at our, at our studio here. Uh, okay. But we also have an online platform where people can access. Uh, not everybody is local. But, you know, I want to be able to help people that are in New York. And I do have some clients online where I train them and where they can access their workout. And they can go to a gym, their favorite gym, and be able to access the type of workouts that we, you know, have come up with that are best for what they are doing and where they say their goals, you know, where they want to go uh, with, you know, with regards to their weight loss, you know, goals. So, um, and once again, it's very customized. Mm -hmm. Now, you talked about the online platform. Let's talk a little bit about that because I know everybody, as you say, are not there locally uh, and you right. deal with people across the country. So yeah. what is that online platform about? Well, once again, everyone will, you know, uh, get, you know, videos of, you know, that they can take with them to the gym. So everyone most, more these days will have a smartphone. Right. Okay, so we will uh, prescribe or suggest, you know, some of the exercises that are, uh, like I said, we've come up with, and they can take these, you know, their cell phone with them, and there will be videos that, you know, that of their whole workout routine oh. throughout that week, okay, nice. that, you know, they, they, can, uh, they can use and or have access to. So we will base it on either a week or two, you know, of these types of exercises. And so at after that week or that two weeks, we'll modify the exercise. We'll come together. We'll have the conversation uh, that first week of seven days or whatever. We have a conversation and we'll, you know, talk about what worked, what didn't work, what did you like, you know, and we'll modify the exercise going into the next week. 
and we either add some more weight, you know, or we'll add some more reps, or we'll add some more exercises in, you know, throughout, you know, through that workout routine. So it, you know, it comes down to, you know, every week we're doing something different and keeping the body guessing. Got it, got it, got it. Now, yeah, do, you, yeah. do uh, you require people to see a physician first in terms of just to see what's happening with the overall, or do you trust them of to let, them, let you know yeah. that that's well, where they are? Yeah. Well, it, it comes, it comes, it comes in a couple of different ways because how we have it set up when we, when we do um, have a new client, there are some forms that we will have them fill out online first. Got it. And so on these forms are lifestyle questionnaires and, and sort of have in there also a uh, part Q where, um, you know, it, the question is asked, you know, uh, are you cleared by your doctor to exercise? Right. Do you have clearance? And so based on the, the answers that are provided in that questionnaire, we'll determine whether or not, you know, A, before we move any further, let's go and get you checked out by the doctor to make sure that you are able to uh, do some kind of exercise, you know, program, you know, first. So, you know, that's how it's set up through the uh, online questionnaires. Oh, okay. But yes, I do definitely suggest that people, uh, you know, check with their doctors always first. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Right. So tell us, Todd, where you can be found, your website, phone number, um, give us your information, where we can find your book, and it's called No Wonder I'm Fat. Right, like right, that right. Title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, this is this is actually the uh, the book right oh, yeah. here. Show me the so, book. Yes. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. So so that's the that's the lady. Like I said, she's looking at that word collage, and she's like, "Wow, no wonder I'm fat." You know. Right. Now, but you can oh, you can go by my website at Todd T Cheeks Coaching mm -hmm. Cheeks Coaching dot com. Okay, and. Uh, you can find all of our information there, and um, that's where you can purchase the book. Uh, I think it's going for like nineteen ninety nine or something like that. So you can definitely okay. just go to Tiger Coaching, and um, that's where we that's where we do it. You know, that's where we do it. Okay, okay, okay. So the book is really talking about um, wh why we are fat, why we are old. Exactly, exactly. And some of the things that exactly. we can do to alleviate. Uh, the, the situation of us gaining extra pounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, so like I was saying, the book is really about how to get off the weight loss roller coaster, gotcha. you know, and stopping that fat confusion. That's what we like right. to say. Ah, uh, got yeah. it. Got yes. it. Yes, 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 yes. You know, um, yeah, it's, it's important that we, that we look at these things and, and really, really adapt a lifestyle that um, is, easy works into our lifestyle and what we do because people work different hours they have children you know yeah. they have pets that they take care of and they have sometimes people have family members that they're taking care of so the program that that people get involved with it has to be something that can be workable because yeah. otherwise people get discouraged because it's just too much they feel that they can't incorporate it in the lifestyle, you know, and I know right. with my program, it's, it's easy. Um, it, it's, it's a, a program where you just, you work it into your, your lifestyle. Um, mm -hmm. and, um, whenever you can get a coach and I encourage you to reach out to Todd, um, cheek and talk with him more about his coaching program to see how, you can work with his coaching program to help you to move you further along with your goals, because it's very, very important that we take care of our health so we can live as long as we can and then live a, a, a lifestyle that is, is productive, you know, not just live, but live in a productive kind of way where we feel good about ourselves. And, you know, we're living, we're not just here, existing but we're actually living because of how we're treating our bodies and what we're doing in our environment exactly, exactly. so um it's really been great having you on todd and um could you just once again tell everyone how you can be reached 
Yes. So once again, thank you so much, Gloria, for having me on. It's been a, a true pleasure. Uh, once once again, they can visit TaiChiCoaching.com, www.TaiChiCoaching.com. And uh, that's where you'll be able to find the book. And you can also reach me at 917-279-0877. And uh, my info is, my email rather is info at Health-Zone.com. That's my email, info at Health-Zone.com. Great. Thank you so okay. much. Everyone, I can be reached at uh, GloriousHHB.com or 845-204-8897. That's GloriousHHB.com, 845-204-8897. Once again, it's been a pleasure coming to you. I thank you, and I hope that you're blessed with this information and that you will make changes that is appropriate for you and your family. May God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thanks, Todd. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Cause I